Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you a book that you can get to learn basic algebra. So this is where I started. This is, um, actually no, I take that back. I started before this. So I started uh, my math journey uh, slightly before intermediate algebra. I took a, a combined course called Intermediate Algebra, where we covered some of the preliminary material that you need in order to understand this book. And this book probably has some of that material, so we're going to take a look uh, at this book. This is not the book I used, but nevertheless, this is a very good book, and it's a very thick book, and it has more than enough knowledge if you're trying to you know, learn algebra and get better. If you're taking a class, this is going to help you. If you're trying to get back into math, this is going to help you. If you're wondering, hey, I haven't done math in 30 years, how do I get started? Get this book. This will help you, right? It's a solution. Um, I don't know how much this book costs. I will look for it and uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, if I can find it. I'll try to leave a few links because maybe some of them will be used copies and you can get a better deal. Um, so yeah, so I'll try to do that. So let's take a look at the contents of this book, a review of basic algebra. So this is where really it's going to talk about like the really basic stuff. Most people can start with this. I mean, this is this is basically where I started. Again, the course was called Intermediate Algebra and we just did basically this stuff and just a little bit more beginner stuff as well. But I remember sitting at my kitchen table um, learning to write the equation of a line. Actually, no, learning the slope of a line. You learn that first. I remember struggling with that. You know, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Been there, done that. And it's a struggle for everyone uh, when you're starting. So, you know, and don't feel bad if you're not good. It's okay to not understand, you know, um, because I always think about it this way, right? If math was easy, people wouldn't go to school to learn it. They would just, you know, it, it's a struggle. Inequalities. Exponents, polynomials, and polynomial functions, rational expressions and equations, radical expressions and equations, quadratic equations, functions, and inequalities, and then exponential and logarithmic functions. Cool. Really cool. So tons of math in this book. And then we've got more conic sections and then some other topics as well. So it has some advanced topics uh, for intermediate algebra. That's the shocking thing about this book. And that's probably why it is so ridiculously thick. Look how thick this is. This is like the thickest, I think this might be the thickest intermediate algebra book I have. It's just super thick. And it's because it has so much ridiculous mathematics in it. I mean, it's it's pretty rare that, at least from the ones I have, uh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong books, but conic sections in an intermediate algebra book like that's pretty cool you know that's that's pretty cool it's got the ellipse and the hyperbola so this is learned in pre-calculus right so that's kind of cool so if you buy this book and like you don't know any math and you're like oh i just want to like learn the basics you've also got advanced math in this book right the ellipse the hyperbola that's really cool binomial theorem that's also pre-calc stuff it's taught in pre-calc uh, when I've taught pre-calculus in the past in college uh, we, we we covered all of these things right so these were things that were taught and then you have answers to selected exercises. Let's take a look at the answers. That's very, very important. Um, usually these have answers to like uh, most of the odd ones or like most of the problems. Um, yeah, this has answers to uh, some of the problems. Yeah, some odds. I saw some evens though. I saw some evens mixed in on another page. I don't see any evens here right off the bat, but I saw that they had answers to some of the even number problems. Yeah, look over here. Like, a, look at this, one, 106, right? 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114. Wow, right? It's like, it's, like they're, it's like they're all there almost in this case. That's the cumulative review. Yeah, that's, I think they give you all of them for that. Wow. Wow, that's pretty impressive, right? So that's, it's really good for self-study. Um, these books aren't that popular. Like if you go on Amazon and you read the reviews, I, I, I'm assuming it's not that popular. I don't know. I actually haven't looked it up, but I'm assuming it's not that popular. And the reason is the price. It's probably way more expensive than like, like the workbooks that you can get on Amazon for 10, 20, 30 bucks, you know, that like go over all the basics of algebra. The difference between that and this though, is that this is an actual textbook. Like this has a lot of mathematics. Uh, wow. And it's just good quality. Look at all this math. My advice for anyone who is 
thinking about learning, so if you're, if you're, gonna, if you're thinking about getting a book, you know, it doesn't have to be this one, just get any algebra book um, and start with 30 minutes a day. So like you do 30 minutes the first day, 30 minutes the next day, et cetera, just 30 minutes a day and try to pick a time that you feel like you can do it. So like maybe in the morning you wake up and you have coffee and then that's when you feel good. Maybe just do 30 minutes really quick before you, you know, start your day, right? Before you go to work or whatever, whatever it is you do, right? So yeah, it's just an idea. I work better in the morning, so that's for me. That's something that I like doing. Um, you know, when I was in college, I would wake up at, on test days. I would wake up at like four in the morning or five in the morning, and I would have coffee and I would have a big breakfast. I would have three eggs, bacon. If I had any sausage, I would throw it in there. Four pieces of toast, a big jar of like a big mug of hot cocoa, and I would just just chow it down, right? Just really, really eat a big heavy breakfast and have a lot of coffee, just like really fuel my mind and my fuel my body so that my mind can follow. And then I've already had that rest and I'm, I'm like well fed, ready to go, right? And I would just go over everything, just go over everything, you know? Um, and yeah, that's, that's how you do it, you know? I had a buddy who would get up at, at, at 4 a.m. every day. That's, that's crazy. And he would go to the gym. He was like a ex-military pretty hardcore. He was an applied math major. So this book uh, is excellent for anyone who is trying to, you know, get back into math and for anyone who wants to learn more advanced math. Look, here we have an example. This is cool. Let's look at this. Use Kramer's rule to solve the system. This is a system of equations. So you do this um, in college algebra, right? And this is intermediate algebra. <laughs> so it's an intermediate algebra book. So already it's, you know, it's got a lot of math in here that you normally might not even see in intermediate algebra. So it's kind of cool. And it's an example of Kramer's rule. But the cool thing is, it's it's got three variables, right? X, Y, and Z. So it's a harder example. Essentially, you have to compute four determinants to do this problem. Four three by three determinants. So even to do this, you have to know how to compute determinants. So that's something that's taught in pre-calculus. So it's it's uh it's it's pretty intense, right? It's pretty intense for an intermediate algebra book, and it's got beginner material too. Let's go to some beginner stuff because we're just looking at the advanced stuff, right? So. Yeah, solving linear equations using properties of equality. Yeah, this is really easy stuff. I have a I have a course on Udemy or Udemy on it's a college algebra course. And I think it's good for beginners because it starts with it actually starts with let me just mention it here, shameless plug as they say. Um, I never really talk about it, but if you go to uh, my website freemathvids.com, just click on the link that says college algebra. Um, or you can just go to Udemy, but if you if you do, they they get like ninety percent or something of it. It's a lot. They take a lot. Um, but yeah, so yeah, freemathvids.com or the description of this video uh, has links to my courses. But yeah, the college algebra course covers all of this, right, and more, and it has and it has assignments and it has answers to the assignments, so you can actually like work through it like a real course and it's structured. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's something I think that many maybe some of the people here on. Um, epic algebra could use right so i was thinking about making another algebra course like like even more beginner friendly like 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 at this level because my college algebra course is at the college algebra level now having said that i still tend to go extra slow and stuff because you know I, I get it so but it would be cool to have even one like a pre-algebra course or something like that yeah so this is a good book for anyone who wants to get started with mathematics. Um, if Again, if you have been out of it for a long time and, and you're just trying to get back into it, um, you know, try to get a book and just do 30 minutes a day, right? Um, and again, it doesn't have to be this book. I, I don't know how much this book costs. I'm going to look it up though uh, and I'll leave, I'll leave the info uh, in the description of this video in case you want to check it out. If you're still watching this video, if for some reason you're still watching this video and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Um, I don't really know, like, like they, like they you know, like who watches my videos. You can't really tell. It's like you don't really know, like, oh, are you subscribed? You're not subscribed? I mean, I guess I can look up. Like they give me like a percentage. It tells me like who's subscribed, who's not subscribed. But like, yeah. But if you are not subscribed and you're watching, consider subscribing. I'm going to post more book reviews. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Uh, I want to start posting some algebra videos. That's what I was gonna do, and I thought, no, let me just let me just show you a really cool book I have, uh, and so I made this video instead. But yeah, I'm gonna start doing some more math videos, maybe, uh, so like just like beginner videos for uh, people who are trying to learn, uh, trying to learn algebra. But yeah.
Until next time, good luck and take care.